My painting is interview based, so every single work you see has an audio component. Um, I don't like to show figures without having a voice attached because I want them to speak for themselves. So every single painting you see, we're sitting and sharing stories and I'm creating oral histories. Tati, who I didn't know quite as well as I do now when she sat for the piece, I knew her favorite color was pink, so I wanted to start with pink. Um, and then the background you see is the sunset over Eight Mile in Detroit. And she had always said that's the best place to see the sunset. All of the jewelry is her own. I was using a lot of broken pieces of chandeliers I was finding because she does like lots of t sparkly things. Um, she had these brown nails when I was finishing the painting, so I decided to give her those nails specifically and kind of give them gems. Um, I know the dress that she's wearing is her mother's. Um, which is very is very sweet. And then again, the dress in the front is a homecoming dress she had worn. And all the jewels and beads are things that she had gifted me and donated for the piece, which was very generous. My painting is based off of my relationships. When I have seen women and femme folks portrayed in portraiture in the past, I always wondered if they liked their portraits. And I really wanted to prioritize making this a celebratory practice. It's a privilege for me to be able to have a voice, so I, I take that as a responsibility to put things out into the world that have motion and leave my perspective and the perspective of the people I value behind.